I think that's when I noticed was when I just total surrendered and just said, do whatever it is you want to do. So my name is Angie Parker and I've been attending Fellowship of the Park since about 2008. At a young age, I think my parents taught me um, just worship and how when we focus on God and we worship Him, that it kind of takes our eyes off of our circumstances and keeps our heart toward Him, especially during really hard times and dark times. I found that the more I focused on God and kept my heart toward Him, that He would make a way and He would give me strength. The past probably six years have been some of the hardest uh, times. It just left me brokenhearted and uh, some days hopeless and lots of shame and unworthiness. There were many days that I didn't even know how to pray or what to pray, but I knew that I could worship. My kids are all older. They had spent the morning with me and went on their way. And I went for a hike that afternoon. And one of my favorite places has a nice waterfall. I got a special spot, a log that I like to sit on. And I had my worship music going and I was just really reflecting on the year and the goodness that God had brought in my life. I was remembering the story of Job in the Bible, how Job endured a lot of difficult things and yet he still chose to worship. And God restored Job far beyond what he could ever imagine. And it gave me hope. I know that's God's character and his nature. It's in the Bible. I've seen him restore people throughout my life, marriages, relationships, their health. But when it's happening to you and God starts healing places in your heart, the places that I thought only I knew about, the whispers in my heart that I prayed over, wept over, fought over, gave up on. When God starts restoring those places in your life, it's sometimes overwhelming just with, it's a different place of gratitude. And that gives me hope. My time wasn't wasted, that God still has a plan, that He's rewriting that story in my life. I may not know how it ends and I may not know the rest of it, but I believe that, that God is in control and that He has a plan. So when I choose to worship, I think it just, it shifts everything in me toward God and shifts my heart toward Him. And I can look back and see His faithfulness in my life. And I know that He'll be faithful. His Word says He is and He's done it in my life. And I think it just sets my heart right before Him.